<laughs> Tell them, say this ain't Motel 6, but we left the light on for you. <laughs> Amen. This ain't Motel 6, but we left the light on for you. Amen. John 8 and 12, Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. And if any man follow and walk after me, he'll not walk in darkness, but in the light of life. Amen. John chapter 1, verse 5 said, He's the light of men. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 119, 105, He said, Thy words are lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalms 119, 130 said, The entrance of your word gives light. Ah, oh, come on, look at somebody and say, We left the light on for you. Isaiah 60 verses 1, the Bible said, Arise and shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said, Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but my light shall arise upon you and my glory shall be seen upon you. That's Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, the world's dark. And it's getting darker. But the only reason it gets darker is to put the spotlight out. Hallelujah. In other words, you don't really appreciate light, light until it gets dark. If you turn the lights off in here this morning, it would dim a little bit, but uh, we'd still be satisfied because you could see with the light coming in. But boy, if it was black and dark outside and somebody hit the light switch, somebody be talking about it. Somebody better turn the lights on in here. Somebody better turn the lights on. Micah 7 and 8, Micah said to his enemy, Rejoice not on my enemy. Somebody ought to shout, Devil, don't throw your party yet, sir. Yeah. Hallelujah. Rejoice not on my enemy, for when I fall, then shall I rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. Yeah. Somebody shout, It's getting darker, so the light can stand out more. Thank you, Lord. And God said that his light, his glory, it'll rise upon you. Revelation 21 and 23 said, In heaven, there's going to be no need for any light. No sun, no moon, or the stars. Because the glory of God's going to lighten that city, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Ain't it amazing that John the Revelator, he, he, you know, because he saw in Revelation 5, he saw uh, Jesus as a lamb to begin with, and, and as God was revealing Christ to him. Amen. It's slain before the foundations of, of, of the earth, and meaning the only wounds you see in heaven will be the ones on Christ, the ones that they're healed of. But, amen. Thomas saw holes in his hands and touched where he had been uh, wounded in his side. Somebody shout, those the only scars in heaven. They'll be there every time we look at him, though he's glorified in his majesty, and he shines as Revelation 1 like the sun in his strength. My God, like the sun, S-U-N, in its strength. That's how bright that his countenance will be. That's why we're going to have to have resurrected bodies and eyes. Come on, somebody. I mean, you, you couldn't even look on the countenance of his glory so strong, but you'll still be able to see those scars. Hallelujah. But, but Revelation 21, 23, uh, John said the glory of God's going to lighten that city. And he said the Lamb is the light thereof. He could have said the sun is the light thereof, S-O-N, but he, he, he called with that terminology lamb because he wanted to remind us of the cross. Somebody shout, the lamb is the light. The glory is the light, but the lamb's the glory. Come on, somebody. So the glory of God's the Lamb of God. It's Jesus Christ. He is. Come on, somebody. According to John 1, 14, the Word that became flesh and dwelt among us, uh, and we did behold His glory, even of that of the only begotten Son of God, the Father. Somebody say, Jesus is the glory of God. He is the light. Come on. The Lamb is the light. Somebody shout, if we'll get back to the cross, we can see the light again. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, at the cross uh, is where the glory of God is. Somebody shout, we left the light on for you. In a dark world. Hallelujah. It's the cross. Come on, somebody. That's the torch we must carry. That's the light of the gospel. That's the power of Christ that heals and saves and delivers. Somebody say the message of his cross. Message of his cross. It's that message that's going to light up that city forever as we look on the Lamb. Praise God that was slain. Amen. Praise God. Thank God. Somebody look at somebody else and say, we left the light on for you. Amen. And if I know anything about this church, hallelujah, we're going to leave the light on for you. 
That's why the light's right there. That's why there's a big old light pole back here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That message. That's the light. In a dark world. Somebody say the cross light. Amen. Praise God. That's why they wrote that old song years ago. Amen. The lighthouse. Praise God. It's the gospel. It's that message right there. Praise God. It'll drive the prince of darkness out. It'll drive devils of darkness. Come on. Come on, somebody. It, it'll push back the darkness. Hallelujah. You, you ever been in just a dark place? I've been in places where it'd be so dark. And I'm talking about literal things now. I'm not talking about spiritual. I'm just talking about darkness. A little power go out or something. I mean, it's black dark. And you put your hand up in front of your face. You can't even see the outline of your hand. You can feel the warmth off your hand. You know it's there, but you can't see it. Praise God. But as soon as the lights come back on, all that darkness that came in so suddenly, leave just as quick that's the preaching of the gospel you preach that message right there the preaching of the cross of them that perish is foolishness but unto us that are saved is the power of God 1 Corinthians 1 18 it dispels darkness it drives darkness out so if you got a problem with the prince of darkness the devil himself and all his imps of hell those demons come on somebody and they're attacking you they're coming against you and if you live living for God they're going to come and if they will never bother you it's because you ain't bothered them you need to get saved hallelujah you need to come to the cross but, but, but listen hallelujah somebody shout throw the cross out Turn the light on. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord God. Speak the blood that he shed on Calvary. Praise God. Darkness can't handle the light. Somebody shout, darkness can't handle the light. Praise God. Just as soon as this earth makes its full revolution around the sun. And our side of the earth comes back around where the sun, come on somebody, to where it shines on us. We say the sun's coming up, but it ain't never went nowhere down either. Come on somebody, it's just we've been going around. Look at your neighbor and say, I know we're going around. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tell them, say, hold on, because you'll come around to when the day breaks. If you hold on, I know you feel like you're going around and around and around. You are, literally, every day of your life. Uh, hallelujah. That 24 hours. Uh, praise the Lord God. But I want you to know, uh, when you commit that full revolution, somebody say, if you'll just keep moving, hallelujah, after a while, amen, glory to God, the brightness is going to come. After a while, the horizon uh, is going to see the light shine, uh, and the breakthrough is going to come, and darkness will leave. Come on, church. Amen. It's the same thing with the gospel. God says, if you'll hold on to the message of my cross, uh, if you'll declare it in faith, and you'll believe me and continue to walk with me. My friend, after a while, darkness, I'll have to lose its grip. Disease, I'll have to let go. Come on, somebody. Every enemy, I'll have to flee. Somebody ought to shout, we left the light on. Amen.